Ladies and gentlemen, take out your prank brushes. I, uh, oh crap. Did I just say prank brushes? I, oh, I'm, this is, this is horrible. I'm, a, I, I'm so bad at this. I don't deserve to live. Ladies and gentlemen, take out your paint brushes and put on your smock. Welcome the legendary act that you've all been waiting for, the host of Let's Paint, Clem T. Pusser. Merry Christmas. Noel, y'all. Welcome to Clem's Christmas special. I want to introduce you to a little friend of mine. This is Santa's little helper on loan from the North Pole. And with a little bit of luck and a little bit of eggnog, I'm going to be introducing her to my South Pole, if you give my meaning. Now, it is Christmas, and for that reason, what better to paint today than, uh, than a Christmas tree, which we're going to be doing. Now, except we're going to be painting uh, a uh, traditional tree, unlike this piece of shit Space Age one that the studio bought us, cheap bastards that they are. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. Hey, let, let, let's, just, let, let's paint. Now, what you want to be doing... Starting with little evergreen. Just some swipes. Get it going. Don't be afraid to slather it on there. Be bold. When in doubt, sing out. You know, I made some mistakes in my time, but I make them loud. I make them very, very loud. And if you make a mistake, so long as it's loud, people tend to forgive you. All right, keeping on with the green. Keeping on with the green. Starting to look good already, don't you think? I love that hat. Now, I ain't gonna begin to sit here and tell you how to decorate your tree. It's up to y'all. But what I like to do is I like to get some yellow and hang some little yellow balls off it. Because it looks real nice with the green. And I just hang them everywhere and I kind of go from there, just hang them yellow balls. Just like they hang off a Chinaman. And this will most certainly make your yuletide gay. And by gay, I mean jovial, joyful, not homosexual, which is fine. It's fine to be a homosexual um, on Christmas or any other day. But, uh, you know, Merry Christmas to all my homo brothers. I mean, not my brothers. I mean, they're not my brothers in, in, in my kin, but they're... Um, they're, it's homosexuality. Bro, the brotherhood of homosexuality is my brother. That's that's humanity, and in, in it's in it's in it's it, it's dick sucking is my brother. Ain't nothing like being a child coming down in the morning, seeing what's under the tree. I remember one Christmas about 1975, coming down, found my mama under there. She was breathing fire, had that canine breath from drinking all night. You lit a match, you'd have yourself one hell of a yule log. But she says, Clem, Clem, get away from me. I says, Mom, it's Christmas. She thought she was down in the county lockup. So they, it, it was a nice surprise for her to wake up at home that time. Uh, I think we worked ourselves up to an eggnog break. What did he say, Santa's little helper? Mm -hmm. Eggnog. Come on, eggnog for everyone. Come on. You must have come a long way, all the way down here from the North Pole. Hell of a ride to come down here on a sleigh. Well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love the nog. I love eggnog. Well, I love all holiday treats. What we got? We got um, Christmas cookies and uh, what else? Candy canes. Candy canes, candy canes. Dancing, little dancing candy canes. Do you ever do blotter acid? Oh, you see a lot of dancing candy canes on blotter acid. I remember I, I, I took it one New Year's and it lasted all the way till uh, Christmas that year, just dancing candy canes everywhere I went. My favorite 
holiday treat, top of the pyramid, eggnog. It is quite a beverage, and I don't believe that it should be just a seasonal drink. I really don't. I think that uh, this should be in stores year round. And I'm ready to write my congressman on that one. Uh, because you never hear anybody getting belligerent on eggnog. You never hear anybody like yelling at their kids or cracking up their car or anything, because it, it, it just makes you jolly. Come on, give us a little guess now. Huh. Merry, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. All right. Now, what we gonna be doing next is finishing off the rest of this drink. <clears throat> like I was saying before, nothing ever really works out. Set out to be some kind of big artist and find yourself on PBN painting fucking Christmas trees three o'clock in the morning. A piece of hair in this. This. I can't get it. Can you get it? Eggnog for everybody in the studio. Everybody in the studio. Now, everybody out there in TV land, I want to hear you go, Chuck, clam, Chuck, 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 Chuck. We're back. And I have lost the capacity to paint with any kind of control. So, Santa's little helper here is going to take over and she's going to uh, grab hold of the helm. And, come on, here you go. And I'm going to be guiding her, but she's going to be my eyes and my ears. I mean, my mouth. No, she's going to be the, she, She's going to paint, and I'm going to tell her what to do. Okay, now, this, just get it in there. No, I ain't, I ain't going to hurt you. All right, that's just a little broad strokes. That's good. It's good. Going to finish it off. How you feel? All right, all right. Just, uh... Hey, saying this little helper. Look who's under the mistletoe. Oh! Merry Christmas, y'all.